Hello everyone, I am Miss Benita and I live and teach in Seattle, Washington. And today I'm helping my Denver teacher friend, Miss Fung, with this unit, Changing Landforms. And we are in the last chapter, chapter four, and on the second lesson, modeling how landforms erode quickly. You will need the packet. And if you don't have the packet to write with or on, you can just use a regular piece of paper and a writing utensil that you have at home. Welcome. All right, in the last session, we observed a pattern that landforms with cracks or landforms made of loose materials can erode quickly. You may want to return to this part of your packet and look at the questions that you wrote. You might have answers to those questions and those answers can be moved to the what we know column and you may have new questions. You can use this throughout the rest of this chapter as well. All right, this video has two activities and we will start with comparing models. Let's talk a little bit about the word model and how scientists use model. Models in science are something that scientists make to answer questions about the real world. And since we're studying how landforms change quickly, we can't really look at a landform as it's changing quickly. So we have to use a model to represent what's happening when landforms change quickly. So we use this book to investigate that very uh, subject, eroding quickly. And there are three questions in your packet and you can answer those by writing down your answers. You can talk with a family member about your thinking or you can just think about it in your head. So go ahead and pause the video so that you can take a look at those questions and answer them. We'll come back and review. All right, what new information did Handbook of Land and Water give us about how landforms can erode quickly? What did you have to say? Okay, landforms made of loose materials and landforms with cracks can erode quickly. So the second question, what are some examples of loose materials that we read about in han the Handbook of Land and Water? I keep wanting to call it Landbook. Soil, sand, small rocks, and mud. All right. We'll have a chance to work with a chalk model in this video. And we'll also work with a sand model. Does sand or chalk better represent loose materials? Did you explain your thinking on that question in, in your packet? Let's see. Sand better represents loose material because it is made of smaller rocks. Okay. Based on our ideas, we will use the chalk to represent a stable material, and we will use the sand to represent loose materials. By using two models, we will be able to investigate why some landforms erode more quickly than others. Let's review the word stable and what we mean by that in this, in this unit of study. Stable is staying mostly the same. The same. All right, so let's move into modeling erosion. Turn to these pages in your packet and we are going to observe what happens to the chalk model first and record the, your observations on these pages. Remember, any time that we're looking at questions, you can answer them in the packet yourself. You can talk to a family member about them, or you can just think about them in your head. I'll review how we're going to do this uh, demonstration of the chalk model. First, what I'd like you to do is observe the chalk closely and then draw what the chalk looks like in the, either in the packet handout or on a piece of paper. This is a close-up of the chalk. Then 
Then I will spray the chalk with water. Observe what's happening to the chalk and record your observations. And then you will draw what the, the, the chalk model looks like afterwards. Make sure you label your drawing. All right, I'm gonna pause the recording and set up the demonstration. So in the meantime, I'd like you to take this opportunity to get yourself ready. 